Part 11, evidence that it's nearby. The first clue one can find is animal bones from various types in one spot, usually near the dog man's den. Second, if there are animal missing signs everywhere in a particular area. Third, in areas involving what authorities call strange dog attack cases, meaning people or animals were supposedly attacked by a pack of dogs, one will also see many cases of missing persons, cats, dogs, and mutilated animals. Fourth, broken trees blocking paths it presumably utilizes to warn people to stay out of its territory. Fifth, coyotes get quiet when there is a strange dog man howl and eventually move out of an area. On the other hand, if the relationship with the coyotes is peaceful with the dog man in the area, Coyotes will seem more aggressive than normal, almost emboldened. Sixth, one will find deer or steer heads in trees or fence posts as the dog man decapitates its kills, as revealed on Dog Man Encounters episode 136. Seventh, your dogs stop barking suddenly and whine like they fear for their lives. Eighth, door knocking in a secluded area, but no one is there when answered. Ninth, one can find scat, presumed bare because of the amount, only around a particular cabin or on a picnic table and not by nearby cabins, as bears would do. Tenth, a fog or strange mist appears suddenly and lingers, indicating some paranormal connection with the dog man. Eleventh, big footprints with claw marks are sighted. Twelfth, authorities are taking great measures to keep animals out of the trash, beyond what is normal. For example, in Kettle Moraine Park, Dumpsters are enclosed behind three walls, eight feet high of cinder block with heavy gates and chains, which is strange for the occasional bears. Thirteenth, the local wildlife population dwindles drastically in a short period. Fourteenth, pets, usually cats, in a neighborhood make ear-splitting screams like they are dying. Fifteenth, pulsating lights can be seen, as was discussed on the Paranormal Witness episode called Wolf Pack. Sixteenth, roads and areas are blocked off by a military presence. Seventeenth, shadows can be seen moving through trees as dogmen use trees to travel. Eighteenth, Sickly looking coyotes come around cause they are starving since their food source is diminished. 19th, there's a spate of missing children in a particular area. 20th, one can hear strange nightly howls much deeper in the register than normal wolves mixed with screams. 21st, one can find tails lying about from cats and dogs in one spot. 22nd, we see tree breaks with twisted branches lying about. 23rd, we find unusual livestock deaths like mutilations, meaning obvious animal attacks with no proof they were fed on. And finally, Warnings from authorities about staying out of an area because of predators. <laughs>